Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and for today's video we're going to be making a giant crossbow. So for this project, bigger project, you're going to need a few things here. So starting at the top, we have a um, 3 8 to 1 inch quarter round or so, and it doesn't matter exactly what it is as long as it's flexible. That's for the bow. Then for the base, we have probably a 3 quarter by two or three but it doesn't matter again whatever works for you and the lengths of those we'll get to in a second you're going to need two bungee cords some wire cutters some type of wire that's actually a dog leash that was broken uh two 90 degree brackets some screws for those brackets then for tools just a drill some duct tape or electrical tape measuring tape a little piece of one and a half or one to two inch um, PVC piping, a screwdriver for your screws, and a permanent marking marker for measuring. Let's get started on how to build it. So for this project, what I have here are these two black bungee cords. They're 40 inches long. So if yours are shorter or longer, you're gonna have to adjust all the measurements of the wood accordingly. Like if they're 20 inches, then just cut mine in half probably. Just an approximation. But for my two 40 inch bungees, what I've done here is the quarter inch round, which is gonna be the bow part of my crossbow. I cut to 75 inches long and the body part here, I cut to 60 inches long just using a hacksaw. For the first step, what I've done is got my bow piece, put it at the top like that. As you can see, this is the formation of the crossbow. And laid a measuring tape on the top of it like so. And then in the middle here, from the 75 inch, I marked out half at 37.5. Right there, and put my cross beam just in between like that. And I'm gonna use the two 45 brackets, as you see there, along with the screws and drill to connect them in the corner like that. So I will be using eight screws to sink them in there. And then, using my duct tape, gonna put one strip there, one around them, and one around there just for added support. I'll do that now and show you what it looks like. So there is the cross member attached to the body and I've also now attached the PVC pipe which if you're wondering is used as a support for the um, arrow. We're just going to put the arrow through that and it'll help align it and also add some strength to it. Next step to attach your bungee cord to your uh, wooden cross beam which acts as your bow I guess. Um, you're going to want to attach it about 5 inches from the end because you don't want it to slip off and I'm going to use a wood saw to just cut a little notch in it to slip the metal part in and then probably secure it with a bit of glue and tape. Do that on both sides and then move on to the next step. So there's the connected bungee cords and then next step on the other end of the bungee cord as you can see here you're going to want to completely cut off that metal piece using your wire snippers so we can uh, use the other wire to attach the two ends together. So here as you can see, I have cut off the ends of the uh, bungee cords. So the next step to connect them, I'm gonna be using this green wire stuff. And what I did, it turns out that they're not both 40 inches. The one's 46 or something and the other's 40, around there estimation. So with a tape measure here, I'm going to measure out the difference, so six inches of this, and tie it through the little loops. And this is a lot smaller, so it can be used to hold the arrow in a little notch. I'll make the arrow once this is done. And to put it in there, I have a little flathead screwdriver, and I'm going to jam it through the loop and thread it through to connect the two together. And then of course my wire cutters to cut it off. Let's do that now. So as you can see here, I've connected the two pieces together to get the full band on my crossbow. And so there's the final product pretty much. 
as you can see I've got the beam up top it's hard to get it in the camera just because it's so big it's probably well 75 inches it's pretty tall and then as you can see there's my bungee there's the base of it right there and the middle is probably around there just because they were different lengths so for the arrows I'm gonna make it out of this little dowel here you can use sticks dowels or whatever I'm gonna get a knife or a sander uh, stand up the end to a point and we'll go outside oh notch in the back too to notch into that little green wire and we're gonna go outside and do some shooting tests all right so here we are outside for the shooting test here's our finished product crossbow as you saw inside what we ended up doing here is adjusting the ends by tightening it some more and taping it on to get a bit more power did that to both ends as you can hopefully see in the camera there and for our ammo we're actually going to use a plastic broom handle for weight reduction. I uh, put a notch in the end, and this is actually just uh, like a blunt tip, but you can add maybe a screw or a nail or whatever you want. So uh, first we're going to be doing a puncture test on a piece of drywall here, and then we're going to be doing a distance test. So uh, here we go. Drywall test. Three, two, one. All right, second shooting test. Missed the first time. Missed the, missed the first time a little bit, so here's a second shooting test. <laughs> Let's go check out the damage. Here's the damage report. Straight through the piece of drywall and don't forget that this is without any tip just a flat piece of aluminum let's do a distance test here's the distance test we're gonna try and shoot it across my backyard see how far it can go here we go nice almost cleared my backyard probably 40 50 feet and there you have it folks the super large crossbow there it is Super easy, but really fun. Shoot lots of stuff in it. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.